Did you know a new object from another star system is inside our solar system right now? Hello explorers, today we meet 3i, Atlas, only the third confirmed interstellar visitor. Astronomers have ever tracked. It arrived as a faint smudge in early July, flagged by the ATLAS survey in Chile. Then the story accelerated. The question is simple and thrilling. What are we really looking at? A natural comet from a distant sun, or a clever scout that only looks like one. It may even carry clues about planet formation beyond our neighborhood, and early stellar chemistry. Start with the basics. Its orbit is hyperbolic. That means it is not bound to the sun. It came from deep space, and it will leave for deep space again. The closest it comes to Earth is about 1.8 astronomical units in December, a wide and safe miss. Before that, it passes the Sun near the end of October at about 1.4 astronomical units, just inside the orbit of Mars. In early October, it swept near Mars, giving orbiters a rare chance to image an interstellar object and helping scientists tighten the trajectory. Now to behavior. Even far from the Sun, instruments picked up strong water vapor streaming away. Think of a fire hose in vacuum, running without pause. That is an early and intense wake up for a visitor still distant from solar heat. Spectra also hint at gas ratios that do not match many local comets. Put together, the picture suggests ices that formed in a different stellar refrigerator than our own, colder in places, and perhaps richer in carbon dioxide. Interstellar chemistry is a story, and this object is a new chapter. With every surprising data point comes speculation. Some point to the neat alignment of its path near the plane of our solar system and call it curious. Others focus on brightness patterns and the early water loss. A few voices argue for a non-trivial chance of an artificial origin. The mainstream view is steady. Surveys are most likely to find what crosses familiar skies. Comets can be surprising without being engineered. In science, extraordinary claims require extraordinary tests. So what will we test? As 3IATLAS approaches the sun, sublimation should intensify. That means more gas, more dust, and a brighter coma. Spectroscopy will search for carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, ammonia, and trace metals that mark where and when its ice is formed. Polarimetry will probe dust grain sizes. Photometry will measure rotation rates and look for jets that turn on and off. If the nucleus fragments, we learn about internal strength. If it stays intact, thermal models can map how heat flows through the crust. Each instrument answers one question and unlocks two more. What about the alien probe idea? There is a clean checklist. Artificial devices tend to show narrow radio emissions that do not match plasma or dust. They can reflect radar in crisp, specular ways. They can show light curves with engineered periodicity or they maneuver against gravity. Natural comets follow sunlight and spin. They vent, they tumble, they sometimes break, but they do not steer. If we see steering, the story changes. If we do not, the simplest answer wins. There is also humility here. Oumuamua startled us with its odd shape and non-gravitational acceleration. Borisov looked like a classic comet and proved that other systems make familiar ice. 3i Atlas sits between these lessons. It behaves mostly like a comet, yet it is bold in chemistry and early activity. That is the point. Each visitor updates the map we carry in our heads about how planets form across the galaxy. Here's the safe bottom line. This object is no threat to Earth. It will not blaze across the night for the naked eye. It will give our instruments a rare window into materials born under another sun. When the glare of the sun fades in late November and December, telescopes will return to work. In early 2026, as it heads outward, teams will compare spectra, dust models, and light curves to settle debates about composition and activity. So, probe or comet. The evidence today favors nature. The door for surprise stays open. Perihelion and the months after will tell us how strange this visitor truly is. Until then, we keep our instruments ready our questions sharp, and our minds open. Comment your thoughts. Do you lean comment or probe? Like this video if it sharpened your curiosity, and subscribe for more Skyborne Mysteries, only here on NextGen Science.
Let us keep exploring together.